The arm is a 1500 newton meter F 1500 carbon fiber torque reaction arm, so it's capable of reacting 1500 newton meters. This particular arm is 12 feet in reach, but we can stretch them out and have arms as long as 20 feet. As we operate the arms, this particular arm at 12 feet in reach, 1500 newton meters in torque, is 340 pounds lighter than the same arm would be in steel. We've replaced steel segments with carbon composite here, 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 and here. Replacing those steel segments re resulted in a reduction of the push-pull forces required to operate the arm by about 70%. You'll see that as I operate the arm throughout the articulations, I can do it literally with two fingers. The longer reach arms will operate in exactly the same fashion. With minimal force, I can bring them up, down, and move them around. Another unique attribute of this arm, as we look at it, is that this arm is a smart arm. We've hidden five encoders in this arm, one in the head, one in the wrist, one in the elbow for the cylinder, showing me the height, a belt-driven encoder on the back elbow, showing me the reach, and a fifth encoder buried inside the pedestal. That encoder buried inside, well, those five encoders buried in the, uh, in the arm are tracking the tool tip position of this socket so the tool knows exactly which fastener it's on. If we look at the Acrodyne controller, right now the controller is locked by open protocol. That's why it says OP on the front of the tool. When I put the tool back on the right bolt that's required for the operation, I'm going to send an enable signal to the DC tool and allow me to run that fastener, providing that I'm in the right order. I can loosen and I can torque until I get an OK on that rundown. Once I get an OK on that rundown, I've completed this process I'm going to start the next process in this sequence after five seconds and I'm back ready to build my next machine.